Hello team, how's it going? Welcome back to a new video. Today we're going to be talking about British Army accommodation, housing, pay and charges. Firstly then, let's talk about the different types of accommodation that you could live in being a serving soldier. I'm only going to talk about regulars because reserves, you don't get accommodation unless you're on certain contracts. Maybe I've never been in reserve, so I don't know that. Um, but definitely head over to the British Army website, they should be able to help you. Uh, but for all those that are serving or looking to serve, you're then going to get put into your single living accommodation. This is a one man room with an ensuite shower. They are really good, okay? This is class as a Z type. Some camps still have the older types, so you're gonna get like a four man room and a communal shower, um, but they are pretty rare nowadays. Some blokes are most people comment below like, no, I'm in one of them. It does happen, some camps are still like that, but majority now of these super garrisons, people getting moved about are getting put into the Z type. You're gonna get your own room. Majority of them come with a double bed, but if it comes with a single, there's nothing stopping you from buying a double and just backload in the single bed. You get plenty of storage. You're gonna get the ensuite shower, like I said, it's like a wet room with a shower, sink, your own toilets, you don't have to share any of that. And then you'll get a communal kitchen and slash communal area with a drying room and utility room where you can wash all of your kit and clothes. So they are very good. It's very lucky nowadays. You think back in the 80s, 90s and beyond, we're now getting single accommodation. Downsize is social life. Um, a lot of lads join up now and girls and they keep themselves to self. Get in your common rooms, get in other people's rooms, keep your door open, keep socialising, it's good for the mental health. Now, let's move on to the second type of accommodation that you can get. And then we'll talk about paying charges. So you've got your single living accommodation uh, and then you've got your housing, okay? Your married quarters as they're known, your pad houses. They're not no longer just for married personnel though. So, you join up, you're single, you're in a relationship, you're married, whatever, but you don't want to bring your family down, you'll get put into the block. If you want to bring your family down, you can now get married quarters um, or your SFA, Service Family Accommodation. Years ago, it was just for married personnel, but about a year and a half ago, they brought it in um, for long-term relationships. So no longer do you have to be married because not everyone's getting married now or well, you might want to live together before you get married. So the army have opened it up. They've got this housing so they have opened it up to people in long-term relationships. One thing you need to be aware of is that married personnel take priority. But if you would like to uh, apply, then speak to your welfare team or your chain of command and you can apply for uh, married quarters now if you are in a long-term relationship. All of this is after you leave phase two far and well. I don't know if there's any phase twos where you can get married quarters, um, but the ones I've been to, so like RAC, uh, the artillery, um, infantry, you won't be able to, but maybe the longer courses, like your tech courses with Remy and stuff, um, medics you might be able to, but I'm not sure on that. So you have to be um, within a relationship for longer than a year, have to prove certain bills and stuff like that before you can move into uh, a quarter if you're not married. If you are married, it's easy, just apply and you'll get it as long as they've got the space, which majority of the time they do. Um, you can even move in up to two weeks before your marriage date as well, so that's pretty cool. They're the two types of accommodation you've got. I have done a full video on my old house in Balford, so you can watch that here. And I am going to do a full room tour of uh, someone's room in the block, so you can actually see what it's like. But you've just seen a clip there. Uh, one of, a mate of mine, and he's got a really good setup. It, it can be really good, so the accommodation now, you can't fault it. Moving on to pay and charges then. This is what we all want to know. How much does it cost to live in the army? So, absolutely nothing. It is bare, it's not absolutely nothing, but it's bare minimal. To live in the block, I'm talking your own room, ensuite shower, you get your kitchen, your utility room, your drying room. You pay no bills, apart from about 70 to 80 pound a month. That's it for your room. No water, no bills, that's it. Bargain. The rest of your money goes on food and it's disposable income. That's your charges for all, um, living in the block. So there's a massive pro to joining the army or the military. Now let's talk about housing. Slightly more expensive, but not much more compared to what you'd be paying. It is a bargain. So housing, what I was paying in Bulford, 
I was paying roughly, depending on a month, some are longer, shorter than others, around £249, I think it is, or £241 for my house. That was rent. Like, absolute bargain. In that sort of area, you're talking good £700. Then, you've got, I had the garage. So if you have a garage, you have to pay more. So it was a pound a day. So 28 to £31 a month, I was paying for the garage. Then you've got something called silo, or it's basically the army's versions of your council tax and water included. So all you've got to do is pay energy, which is gas and electric. That was about 115, 120 pound. So 240, 250, plus the 30, so let's say 280, plus the 110, 120, because it was slightly different each month. You're talking about 400 pound to live in a three bedroom house. I had a garage, I had a free car driveway, and a garden, all to myself. In that house, I had a downstairs toilet, an upstairs bathroom, and an ensuite shower. And a lot of guys and girls are most people like, okay, I don't get that. This, this isn't normal, okay? These were the new houses in the Bullford, um, Tidworth area, so Lark Hill, Luggershaw. That's the new houses and they are moving them, um, putting them out around the, uh, the rest of the army of Fars and Ware. But still, if you're in another house, so let's say you've all shot, my mate had a three bedroom house in all shot. Or was it two bedroom? He had a two bedroom house, I think it was, with a garage, nice long driveway, and he was paying about 130 pound a month rent and then he had the garage and the um, silo fees on top. That was it. Bare minimal, that's your rent. It's really good. But what you gotta bear in mind, so if you're a civilian watching this, was like, why do they get rent so cheap? The army want us to live there. They want you to live there. They up and move you a lot as well. They can't be, especially from people up north who are used to lower prices. So you can't just move them down south and say you're gonna pay a thousand pound a month rent, because it's just unfair, because the army want you to live there. That's the way I look at it anyway. So. That's your housing, that's your accommodation. Like I said, if you wanna see a full video on the housing, I've done a full video on my um, Bullford house. I'm gonna get in a lad's room soon. When lockdown's over, I'm gonna give you a full tour of his room. You can see the block, the accommodation, the communal room, uh, and then we, we can go over prices again then. But that's your British Army accommodation. So to summarise then, like I said, if you're gonna join the Army, you're automatically um, in training and have your rooms. When you leave training, you're gonna get put into the block. If you're married, you can apply for a quarter and you will get it as long as they've got space in. Pretty much 100% of the time, they do. Now, if you're in a long-term relationship, you can now apply for a quarter as long as you've been in that relationship for over a year and you have proof, you can then apply, but married personnel do take priority. Also, if you are married, you can apply, apply up to six weeks before and then move into two weeks before. So really good, massive pro to join in the army is accommodation. So. Hope you enjoyed the video and I'll see you soon. Oh, from the ashes, I will rise. No satisfaction without the fight.